Kind of underwhelming compared to the Humber, the Eiffelville Square, or even Alberta, but whatever. Let's try this. Reporting live from my Christmas tree in the condo, it's live from last week, episode 51. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow G Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after a very jam-packed and busy week last week, I'm already feeling exhausted for this coming up week. Mainly because this morning I woke up really early at 6 a.m. to drive the fiancé, oh my gosh, excuse me, the wife, home from work this morning in the chilly, cold December weather. And especially considering that I have not yet slept since I woke up this morning, being too busy editing the live from last week episode 50 episode for you guys all day today, I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough energy. Mainly because I'm going in for my first of my four night shifts tonight, which will be the first time I'm going into work since I had my wedding almost two weeks ago. So here I go guys, off to work tonight, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So after a decent first shift back after my wedding, I'm realizing that this is probably the first time I'm driving the Mini back home on my morning commute in this wintry, snowy weather. So luckily, I put my winter tires on from all the way back in September, and my commute home was as safe as it could be. But check it out, after I got about four hours of sleep post night shift today, I look outside the window and I notice that it's still snowing pretty hard outside. And did I mention I have a lot of editing for video on my live from last week episode that's set to come out this Friday. But anyways, before I go in for my second of my four night shifts tonight, I just have a birthday greeting to one of my Wysig friends, Samantha. Happy birthday, Samantha. I'm remembering going to new Wysig events that you would put on back in the day. And also how your positive attitude and your smile was always infectious. Anyway, Samantha, hope you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So earlier this morning, after I got home from work, I felt very motivated to cook up something for the wife. So I dusted off my crock pot and started making some delicious beef stew. Well, it looks like my stew is ready now. So after I finish shooting this video, I'll definitely enjoy that dish for you guys. But anyways, do you guys remember these tiny food delivery robots that I featured in live from last week videos in the past? Well, I got some sad news. It looks like that the government is trying to pass some legislation to pull those tiny robots off the sidewalks. But I'm hoping that those robots will be back on the sidewalks sometime soon so that in the future, I can get some of those delivery robots to deliver me some of my food that I've ordered online. But for now, before I go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight, I'll be busy editing my live from last week footage for the episode that's set to come out tomorrow morning, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow after my night shift. So guys, I don't know if you know, but before the wedding, the wife and I had abstained from eating white rice just so that we could keep a little bit of a slim figure before our wedding. For her being able to fit in her wedding dress and for me being able to fit in my tux. So now that it's after the wedding, when I had that beef stew that I made yesterday, 
with the glorious side of white rice. I ate it and man, as you can tell by the video, it tasted just like heaven. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to eat some leftovers of that dish later on today. And also excited because tonight is going to be my last of my four night shifts. So I'm getting ready for the shift by singing my usual song. One more night. But before I go into work tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I wanted to wish a happy birthday greeting to one of my nursing friends back in the day, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. I'm remembering the times going partying with you back in bar 244 with Chriselle, Vincent, and all of them, and going clubbing with you on the streets of Toronto back in the day. Anyways, Vanessa, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Now on to the second birthday greeting of the day, which goes out to one of my old co-workers, Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. I'm remembering the last time I saw you was when you brought your little one to work that one day. As well as catching the Blue Jays game with you and a couple of other co-workers back in the day. Anyways, Alyssa, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Next time in Ottawa, I'll definitely hit you up and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. I'm actually remembering meeting you for the first time playing indoor on Marie's team and also playing beach volleyball twos with you a couple summers back. Anyways, Chris, always a pleasure to play alongside with you. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. So yeah guys, I'm pretty excited for my off days and the weekend after having a stretch of four work shifts in a row. And we'll just catch up with you guys again tomorrow. After my night shift, took a nap, and look at this weather. Whoa, so today is pretty windy. <laughs> but incredibly, in the month of December, check it out, it's like 14 or 15 degrees outside right now. But anyways, this Saturday evening, we're going to meet a couple of friends for the night. So let's go visit them before we get blown away. <laughs> oh, you're going now? Yeah, so she broke her leg trying to save somebody's life. Yes, no alcohol was involved or anything. No, no dancing involved. So now anyways, we're back in the car to do a quick birthday greeting for you guys today. And this birthday shout out goes out to one of my high school friends, Chandler. Happy birthday, Aaron. I'm remembering all the soccer teams that we used to team up on when we were younger as well as how you brought your strength of speed and quickness to the squad. Anyways Chandler, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. But yeah, it's off to my buddy Ronnie's place to celebrate this big guy's birthday. So Ronnie bro, we're coming for ya. Oh my goodness, going out. He's here, we are here. It's live from last week. I was gonna say the W word. Happy 
Yay. Woo! So after a great night of fights in Mississauga at Ronnie's, I'm now back downtown in downtown Toronto to go visit V, see the wife and her friends, and pass out for the night. Somebody let the sun come up again. So this morning, after waking up early and enjoying the nice sunrise out in downtown Toronto, the wife and I decided to drive to Saga to see the Saga family. And comparing the kitchen to how it looked like a couple weeks ago, this week it looks a little bit more finished. Especially with all the granite flooring almost being completed. We also saw that the Miss Universe competition was going on earlier tonight. And of course, with Miss Philippines being in the running, it's a yearly TV event that we rarely miss. And although our country, Miss Philippines, didn't win the title this year, we want to give a great shout out to Miss India for winning the Miss Universe 2021 edition. And afterwards, on another channel, we got to see the Canadian Football Championship game, which featured the hosting Hamilton Tiger Cats playing against the Blue Bombers from Winnipeg. And so, winning in overtime, we want to congratulate the Winnipeg Blue Bombers for being the 2021 Grey Cup champs. But after watching all that this evening, we're back here in Scarborough. And before I wrap up the night, I have a special birthday greeting to one of my friends out there in YouTube land. And this one goes out to a great buddy of mine, Ronnie. Happy birthday, Ronnie. In case you missed it earlier in this episode, we actually celebrated his birthday last night. But man, I'm remembering when you and I went to Vegas back a couple years ago when we got to see our Tito Manny Pacquiao face Timothy Bradley at the MGM Grand. Man, those were great times with you that I'll never ever forget. Anyways, bro, although I did catch up with you yesterday, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you're a great birthday celebration this year. But yeah, it's almost midnight tonight, so it's time to wrap it up for the day, and we'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Guys, tell me how yesterday I forgot to do a feature on the bubble tea that we had. I think it's from this place called Xing Fu Tang. And this place had probably one of the best bubble teas I've ever had. Mainly for the fact that the bubbles in the bubble tea, the tapiocas, were actually made pretty fresh on site in the store. And while drinking them, they were probably the softest bubbles that I've ever had in a bubble tea. But yeah, speaking of teas, I remember it was the first time last month when I found out that my workplace actually has this automatic robot tea making machine. So evidently at work, there's a tea robot. Legitly, I heard that this is a robot that makes your teas for you. And I'm on my way to try to find it. So check out this short little adventure that I had trying to find this machine and getting my first tea made by a robot. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But I'm just remembering that I forgot to do a birthday greeting for one of my friends yesterday. So this belated birthday greeting goes out to Jasmine. Happy belated birthday, Jasmine. I'm remembering the time a couple live from last week episodes ago when I went to Shoppers and got you an Uber delivery of those BTS Samsung headphones. And even personally delivered them to you at your work. Anyways, Jasmine, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. Moving on, the wife and I had started a movie marathon, and now that these movies are on Netflix, we decided to start some before I go in for my night shift tonight. Starting off with the classic, The Fast and the Furious. 
And before I go and eat dinner, I'm getting in a little bit of too fast, too furious. Just before I go in for my one single night shift tonight. But anyways guys, I'm gonna finish up those movies before I go in for my night shift tonight, as well as wrap up this week's episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.